Okay, guys, I'm back. So I want to show y'all some of the stuff that I ended up ordering from um, Sheen. And it's for my nails. I ordered me some more dual forms because I fell in love with doing the dual forms when I tried them on my last set that I did. Um, I do want to give a special shout out to Kay's World because she was the one who gave them to me because she had a whole bunch of stuff that she had ordered to start doing her own nails and she ended up not getting into it or whatever and so she allowed me to go through her stash and pick out whatever it is i wanted and she had some um some dual forms in there and so i had always wanted to try them and see what they were like i heard they you know they i heard they were easy to to manage and i was watching videos of them and they look super easy and when i tried it it actually was it was super easy and so i'm like you know what I think dual forms are going to be my thing because I'm not a great polisher. I can lay the acrylic and I think I'm, I'm good for, for what it is. You know what I'm saying? My, my acrylic laying is, is decent, but I still want that. Y'all. <laughs> so. Oh, Okay so this first thing that i opened up is my son's graduation tassel for his cap and gown that i had ordered <laughs> so i'm not even ashamed but that was awesome too i like that that was perfect but that was for him so let's move on to the next bag because i think the next bag is for me yeah it feel like it's for me all right so Oh, that just made my day. His castle and his um his keychain and everything had came. And so that means his cap and gown is on its way. So yes, like I was saying, um I fell in love with the the dual form because it's so easy to manage. And another trick, y'all, if y'all haven't got on it yet, using the Instead of, if you're not good at doing nails, but you, you love your press-ons and you want your press-ons to last longer, listen, I just tried it for the first time. Um, I used some press-ons like these and I took my acrylic and my dampen dish. Get you some acrylic powder. I don't know if it matters whether it's a color or not that you use under there, but if it's a um, if it's a clear press on nail, you probably will want to use a clear um, acrylic powder. Just use a clear acrylic powder because it don't make sense to put a color under there. So get you a clear acrylic powder. Doesn't matter. Get you some monomer, whatever brand you want or whatever, because all we doing is using it as a glue to seal our nails onto our kit, to our um, nail bed. So get you some monomer, acrylic, and a dapping dish or some kind of dish to pour the monomer in. Glass is better because it does kind of peel away the plastic or whatever. If you use a plastic container, it'll kind of peel away in there. But you don't even need a whole lot. You just need like a little bit to coat the brush. And then you will brush the acrylic on, on the nail as if you're putting glue on it. If you're doing a brush on glue, do the acrylic the same way. Mash it down and around in the, in the inside of the, uh, the nail, the press on nail, and then stick it on your nail for a second or two and it'll dry. It'll dry by the time you finish doing your whole hand. And those nails lasted me three weeks. I just took them off yesterday. I did have a few pop off, but that's because I'm rough with my hands. If you don't have, you know, a rough job or anything like that, because like my nails tend to hit the dashboard when I'm driving or whatever, or if I'm quickly trying to grab something for falling or whatever, I could pop a nail. It, it hurt it because it was it was on there good you know what i'm saying so it did hurt but they last so if you have if you love doing your press on nails and you want them to last longer then two weeks or a week 
put some acrylic powder with your monomer on your nails and it will last as if you got a full acrylic uh, acrylic set done I'm telling you it works try it now and let me know how it works for you because that's that's how I'm doing it from now on you get um if you ain't got no glue no worries use some acrylic powder glue works just as fine if you just I'm, I'm saying if you want your nails to last a little bit longer than a week or two put some acrylic on there as a glue and baby watch it work and it's it's sturdy you know how when you put your press on nails on and you got it with just the glue and it's kind of that loose sensation baby when you use that acrylic it feels just like you have on acrylic nails the security is so great and so much better when you use acrylic than when you use the glue so i'm just saying try it out if you haven't tried it if you like to wear your press ons a little longer use some acrylic and stick them on your nails like that and i'm telling you great results great results so let's go ahead and move on into this bag of what i got okay so i got different um different shapes of dual forms because i'm not good at polishing i'm not good at shaping i can lay the acrylic just fine but when it comes to shaping it be just a little bit off and i be wanting me a precise um a precise shaping shape or whatever so yes yeah, so this will illuminate eliminate all of that now all i gotta do is just find the perfect fit put it on my nail put the acrylic in there and then so these are the coffin shape long coffin so this is what they're looking like coffin shape and so all i have to do is find my size that was just a little bit too big but i'm gonna take the acrylic brush put the acrylic on the brush and then i'm just gonna paint it in inside of here and i'm gonna take it up as high as i want the nail to to go so that way it'll be long enough i like long nails i'm not really into the short nails i was when i was younger I did the short nails then, but now I'm more so into the long nails. And so, yeah, mine's will be long. They probably will be this length or a little bit. One, two, three. So. so these got nodules in it so I can stop it to wherever I want it to be for whatever length and so that's where i'll go ahead but since i like the shape i'm gonna probably have to go ahead and make mines the length of these dual forms because i like long nails and i'm not that great of a shaper now i can come in here and i can shape up the sides a little bit or whatever but if i have to create the shape myself that's where we fall into a problem that's where i kind of get that oval square look and, and that that ain't what i was looking for you know what i'm saying but it worked it worked so i mean i got by all this time so i'm just making life a little easier and guess what this process is so much faster baby i'm telling you it only took me like what 10 minutes i mean if you if you scratch out all the because you still need to prep your nails and all that good stuff so you still have to do that process prep your nails and then once you're done prepping your nails Next thing you do, get your acrylic, your monomer, and your brush. Dip it in there, and you can you can add a twist to it. I felt like doing the design in the dual form was so much easier than doing it freehand on the nail because I'm not no nail expert. I'm not a nail tech. I do for me. I do whatever works for me. That's what I do. And I've been getting a lot of compliments about my nails and stuff, just the same way I do with my hair. I'm not no professional hair doer. I just do hair. I know how to, I know how to make something look a little decent. You know what I'm saying? I can make you look, make you look like somebody. I could do that. But I'm trying to find something because I be wanting to do my nails a lot. But but when I get off work, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm tired when I get off work. I just want to lay down but yet i come home and i still do 
everything but lay down. So throughout the weekday, I'm still, you know, bouncing everywhere or whatever. But I just be, I be like, you know what? And if I do lay down or just rest, I'm thinking about doing my nails. But then when I get to pulling things out, I be like, you know what? Pump all this because it's just a process. When I have to make them myself, I got to get out the nails. I got, it's just... It just makes me dread doing my nails so often. So with these, I'll be able to change my nails up as often as I want to because it's not a whole lot of work going into this. And then I can design the nail, whatever I want to put inside of this thing to dress it up or whatever. If I want to use the foils or if I want to use the little gems and the little, you know, different decorations and stuff, you put that right inside of here with the acrylic. Put the acrylic down, lay it in there how you want to. Another layer of acrylic, another layer of acrylic, and then smash it onto your hand. And baby, you already got a style that's already done. So if I want to polish it, I can polish it. If I don't want to polish it, I ain't got to polish it. I can just leave it clear and rock with whatever design that I just put inside of here and keep it moving. Then I can mess with different colors. I can put different colors of acrylic inside of here so if i wanted to do beige down here pink in the middle purple right there on top of that one gold at the top i could do that and it'll already be inside this nail so once this nail dries i ain't gotta do nothing else to it but put some uh, clear coat over it or whatever or wipe it down however because i actually like the shine that comes from the dual forms too so it ain't a whole lot you got to do. It's like once you put it on your nail and, and let it dry, the process is done. Now, if you want to add something to the top of it, some jewels or whatever, you can do that. But you ain't got to worry about polishing it. You ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. And so I'm just trying to make doing nails a lot easier for me so I can get in the, the groove of making nail videos too. But if I have to create the nails myself, I don't have a lot of time for that so this will be less time consuming for me i'm just saying if you're not that good with nails baby jump into them dual forms i'm telling you it's the simplest thing it's way easier than trying to paint the acrylic on top of your nail bed on top of the nail it, it's an art to that it takes some training it takes some time and practice to keep going till you get perfect with it and that's with anything but i'm just saying if you ain't perfect already baby these dual forms come in handy i'm telling you they come in hand for real so this is the coffin shape dual form that i'll be using to do my nails and it's so many in here so there's so many sizes and they give you so many so that way you don't if i have customers or whatever I don't have to use the same ones that I use on my hand. I can use a fresh one for each customer or whatever. And then I guess I can boil it for sanitation, boil it in some alcohol and water or something like that to sanitize it to keep it, you know, keep the hygiene up on the um on the dual form. So that's the coffin shaped one. Uh, and these are my nail tips. These are the um, ballerina tips, I believe they're called. They don't have the name on here but i got a whole bag here full of the ballerina tips yep and these are gonna be half tips yep because they didn't i didn't like the way the whole tips look so this will be one that i would have to paint the acrylic on myself but i think i did see a hack where I can still use the dual form to get it on there without having to use, without having to paint it on myself. So this is just a regular nail tip. Let's see. Let's see how I can, yeah. That's just a regular nail tip. So that will go on like that. And then I would take the acrylic and paint it, put the acrylic on 
the entire nail. So I would start from the nail bed and then cover the whole tip with the acrylic. Now that's for when I have some time. But like I said, I'm not a great shaper. So I like to buy nails that are already shaped. So all I gotta do is put the acrylic on, maybe some polish if I wanna do some polish or whatever. And I ain't gotta worry too much about the shape. If the shape is a little bit off after I put the acrylic on them, all I gotta do is just, you know, clean it up a little bit, but the shape is still there. So that's what my goal is, and that's what um what I be looking to do when I um when I do my nails because like I said, I'm not no good shaper. I can shape, but it ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? And I be liking them nice. I be liking my shapes to be on point. So we just gonna bypass all of that and cheat a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with cheating in this way. And uh, making life easier, I guess we'll say that. I'm making life easier for me. Okay. So yeah, I got the coffin dual form shape and I have the ballerina nail tips that I will be using. And they got a whole bunch of different sizes in here. That's why so many in this bag. And so I just figure out which size fit me. And I just remember the number that's on the bag so that way when i go in here i can mark my, i'm gonna go ahead and mark my bag so that way i know what size fit me so i ain't gotta be scrounging through this bag every time i get ready to do my nails in this type of uh shape i ain't gotta be searching through this bag trying to figure out which one is my number saving myself time so all i'm doing is looking at time saving and making it easier for me to do my nails because I like having my nails done and I like for my nails to look presentable. So I'm gonna do whatever I can. Cause I started from the bottom and now I'm here. Cause at first I was just the press on queen. But then I started watching more videos and just like gardening, I I got to a point where I told myself, you can do that. That looks simple. And so I gave it a try. And so I mastered I ain't gonna say I mastered the the traditional way of doing the nails, but I got that down enough that I can move on to something a lot more easier. And so I was testing out different things to see what'll work for me in my nail journey. And I feel like the dual forms is my thing. I think that I could do some awesome nails, some different, some great designs with the dual forms because I could just put it inside the dual form and just lay it on the nail and it's already done. I ain't got to do nothing to it after that except for shape it up a little bit if it's messed up. You know, if it's out of, you know, kind of um what's the word? We're shaping it up so that way if it's a little off, I can just clean it up a little bit and and keep it moving. That's it. So I'm trying to bring to you easy methods that I found for me to obtain nice nails that get me through okay so we got that and so because i told y'all i like the dual form so much and i see i get a whole lot of creativity when i um well a lot of ideas when it comes to these dual forms because i'm telling you the sky's the limit now for me with these dual forms so i'm gonna get bold and i'm gonna try ombre so i went ahead and got me some nude acrylic got me some nude acrylic that probably ain't the best brand of acrylic powder or whatever but i've been using this and it's been doing me just fine and to me this one here this one sucks to me but i found that it works when you're using it in a dual form and when you're using it for a glue for your nails. So I don't know what's up with this brand. Maybe it's the monomer that I use with this. That Because the only way, the reason I say it sucks is because it dries out so fast. And so maybe there's a certain type of a monomer that I need to use to use this kind. Because it dries super duper fast. And so some stuff is professional wise. And some stuff give you time to play with it. And this one here was not the one that allowed me to play for, play with it a little bit 
being that I'm a beginner. And this one came from Sally's. So this came from Sally's Beauty Supply. And I think I did try to use it with the Beauty Supply uh, monomer. And it did work. But it did not work with any other brand. that Like that Lime Girl. I had used the Purple Lime Girl acrylic with this. And it didn't do too well. It dried out super fast before I can get it on the nail. So... Uh, I tried it with this Salivan monomer and it worked just fine. So I guess it just depends on the monomer that you use with this acrylic powder and it'll work just fine. So I use this one as a glue to glue my press-ons with or whatever, but I don't really use it to, you know, do my acrylic on my nails or whatever. So yes, I ordered me some nude acrylic powder so that way I can do a, a um a ombre which is where you put one color at the bottom and another color at the top or I could just use this one at the on the nail bed and then just make the top clear or it it can go into a different color so you know I got that because I want to try some stuff with it so that was another thing I ordered and let's see okay and then we got another dual form here mm -hmm. i'm excited i want to i want to do some nails today but i ain't got time i got a whole bunch of other stuff that i'm doing right now so while i'm in the middle of doing this video i'm gonna be you know after i'm done going to do something else and you know so i will see if i can get to doing my nails throughout the week we'll see like tomorrow i probably have time tomorrow because i won't have to cook dinner because i made a big sunday dinner so that way when i come home from work tomorrow i can just get back and relax and chill so tomorrow i might be doing another nail set because today i gotta do my hair so I don't like doing my nails. I don't like having my nails did before I do my hair because then sometimes the products mess up the nails and all kinds of stuff. So I do my hair first, then I do my nails. So this one would be just the square dual form shape. So, just like that, just, just a square tip, that's it. Dual form, like I said for the other ones, you will polish this in the inside of here, stick it on the nail, let it dry, and it'll be in that shape. Now, me, because I don't really like that C-curve like that or whatever, I'll work with it. I, I really need to just try it and see how it looks on me because really i don't know it's all right i just don't like that deep curve and when i say deep curve that right there see how deep it is yeah i don't like that so maybe i can make it i can probably shape this one how i want to because yeah or probably clip it after it's done. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out. Go and watch some videos on some different hacks. On how to shape this one how I really want it to be. Because I really don't want that deep C curve for my style of nail. And maybe it just look weird like that because it's the thumb. But, you know. We'll see. Because see, in any other nail it's decent you know so yeah that's what I, I i ordered these things to make doing my nails less time consuming and a lot easier for me being that i'm not no perfect nail technician i just know how to do my nails to make them look decent enough for me and when i happen to go out in the streets other people like my creation so you know 
I like that. And that's what I want to do. And I want to keep it, keep it going because I do enjoy having my nails done all the time or whatever. But it is a process and it does take up some time to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Versus just buying press-ons and putting them on and just going. I like designs. I like um, putting the, you know, little jewels and, and rhinestones and things like that on my nails too i like all that stuff and so being that i like it i want to be able to do those things but in a timely manner and not make it an all-day process or whatever because when i do my nails with the acrylic it usually takes me three to four hours and that's a long time but i be excited when i'm doing it but i just want to cut that time down a bit and now i just want my nails to look a little bit more professional and with the creations that I create. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. But I am so happy that my son's um and it did say it on the package, but I didn't I didn't think that it would all come in at the same time as my stuff. So I automatically thought that this was part of my order or whatever. But I'm so glad that it came through. So I'm excited. So when he gets back home, I'll show it to him and then we'll wait for his gown and cap to come in so i love y'all have a wonderful day grow something fall in love with yourself and um yeah check your eggs because i don't know what they got going on but check them eggs baby have a great day i love y'all and enjoy the rest of your day